Welcome, my name is Albert. Thank you for joining me today. And today I'm going to be talking to you guys about why it's important to be emotionally detached with women. So if you have not already subscribed to the channel, turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my future videos. Because on this channel, I teach you guys how to become better men and how to become better with women. Okay, so here, here's the reason why you must be emotionally detached from women. It keeps you outcome independent. What does that mean? It means that you're not worried if this girl acts a certain way, if she stops calling or she goes no contact or she, she acts a certain way, right? If you are too emotionally invested in a woman and she sees that, she's going to use that against you, right? You're going to start doing things that are going to make you start being needy and kind of clingy, right? So if you are outcome independent, right? When you stop being emotionally, when you actually emotionally, let me say that again. When you are emotionally detached from women or your interactions with women or any women you have in your rotation, it keeps you present, right? It makes you not it keeps you present. It makes you not going to this fantasy world, right? Because something that I found out is that most guys that are emotional with women, that sh that are too emotional around women and get too riled up when women do things to them, is that they build up this fantasy in their mind, right? They build up this fantasy in their mind of the woman. So they're not dating the woman. They are, they are dating the idea of her. You know, they start fantasizing this world with this woman. And when she starts deviating or things with her start deviating from what she has in her mind, what he has in his mind, he starts to be emotional because he's trying to cry out. It's almost like he is crying out in, from within, trying to show like, hey, look, this is not what I had in mind. Why aren't you like this? I'm doing this and you should be like this. Oh, my goodness, why aren't you responding to my text? Why aren't you giving me the, the energy that I require from you, right? And he's being super emotional. You see, the thing is that, guys, you have to understand, men that are emotional come off as clingy and desperate. And this pushes women away. When she sees that you are emotional, you come off as weak and feminine and women do not want to be with men that are weak and feminine, right? If they want to be with women that, if they want to be with men that are weak and feminine, they will just be lesbians, right? That's why they're with a man because men are supposed to exude strength. They're supposed to exude emotional control. Here's the thing. I understand, right? I understand the need of wanting to you know, just profess your love to this woman and just tell her how much she means to you and and the way she's acting is affecting you emotionally and it's like, she should be acting this way because you did this. And I understand that. I was there once, right? But you have to understand that women are not, they, they are not designed for weak men. They are designed for men that are actually aggressive, men that are um, men that are dominant, men that are in control of their emotion. Because if you are in control of your emotion, one thing that it signifies is that you are in control of your world around you. And women want our guidance, right? So she's going to be the one that's emotional. She wants a man that when she's being super emotional, she can go to him for guidance, that he can actually help her through her emotional state. But if you're being emotional and she's being emotional, you get she can't get any help from you, right? So she's gonna think to herself, why am I with this weak and feminine man? Right? That's when the she starts to use you comes into play. Okay? Look, if you are emotional or are women, they will lose respect and lose attraction for you. These are two things that you don't want to lose when you are dealing with a woman right? Because then she will stop pulling away and she will just move on, right? So you need to be that calm 
within the storm, right? You need to be non-reactive to her. When she does things that would obviously set you off to test you to see if she can set you off, you have to treat her like she's a kid, right? You tell her, look, do not do that again. Or you lay out your, your principle and look, I don't like being disres disrespected, so do not do that again. You're not emotional. You're not like, oh, why? Why did you do that? Oh, my God. We, we discussed it. You know, you promised that you weren't going to do that again, but you did it again. Why are you hanging out with that guy? That's emotional. You're being a woman, right? Did, did, that, did that look attractive to you? No. You have to tell them, look, we discussed that you weren't going to do that again, okay? Do not do that again. Do not disrespect me. You are unemotional, unaffected, okay? But you have to, again, like I, like I just showed you, you have to show, if she steps out of line, of course, you're going to let her know. But you're not going to show her that you are getting emotionally butthurt because, again, she will lose attraction for you and she will lose respect for you, okay? Here's the thing, right? Why guys get emotional is that they are too, like I said in the beginning, too outcome independent. Look, you have to be okay with this girl leaving. If she leaves, that's fine. She is replaceable, okay? The only thing that she's gonna, she actually provides to you is what? Regime and companionship. You can get that from any other girl. So you don't need to be emotional when she starts acting up or misbehaving. Like I told you in my previous video, when a woman misbehaves and she continues to misbehave and doesn't want to submit, you take your masculine energy away from her and your attention away from her. You do not get emotional right in fact when you are non-reactive and unemotional around women they start to wonder if you like them and then this makes her work even harder to get you to actually open up emotionally it makes you more of a challenge for her right but when you are in easily manipulated and easily ticked off she's like ah this guy's too easy and she will just move on okay remember guys be outcome independent. Do what you want. Don't be afraid to upset her. You know, if she says, if she, if she says, let's go somewhere and you don't want to go there, don't be afraid to upset her. Just tell her, look, I already told you, I don't like that place. So we're not going to go there. We're going to go here. Or, you know, if you want, you, we can go here. Right. But that one place I already told you multiple times. And here's the thing. Sometimes women will do this. They will test you. Right. They know you don't like a certain place, but they'll say, oh, no, we should we should actually go there to see what you would say, you, to see if you would get emotional. Because remember, guys, women are always testing for strength. So if you ever become emotional around a woman, you just prove to her that you're not the kind of man that she should be around. OK, so, guys, remember, be non-reactive. It's OK to call her out on her BS. It's OK to, you know tease her a little bit. It's okay to, you know, if she steps over your boundaries or your principle, call her out on it. But you don't have to be emotional about it, right? You just let her know firmly, calmly, and you tell her, look, do not do that again. You stepped over my boundaries. Do not do that again, right? And if she continues, remove yourself from her. Replace her. Throw her to the side, okay? You don't need to get emotional. Strong men do not get emotional. If you're emotional around a woman, you, she sees you as weak and feminine. Okay, guys, that is the video for today, okay? So if you have not already, subscribe to the channel, turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my future videos. Do me a favor, guys, share this video with someone that needs to hear it. And with that, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.